What is up guys, this is T2 back with another video and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you how can you flash the HyperOS version 2 because some of you guys were asking me in my Facebook page I have received this particular message that says can you do a video for Redmi K20 Pro flashing HyperOS version 2. So yeah, I'll try to do that right now. I'm just showing you this on my Poco A5 in this Telegram page and stuff. So ignore that and I have the K20 Pro right here with the Alpha Droid ROM I reviewed it last time. If you haven't watched that video, you can check that out from the description box below. Let me talk about this HyperOS 2 for Redmi K20 Pro and this is based on Android 14, not 15 but here it says HyperOS 2 and as you can see it is a legacy build so it is only supporting the ext4 kind of partition so i have to actually check if it works or not because i'm already on the dynamic partition kind of recovery so basically if you're confused which recovery to use of course to actually flash this hyper os you will need this particular recovery which you will get from right here if you just click on it as you can see this is the particular recovery that you need to use but if you're someone who is already using the latest kind of custom roms like alpha droid evolution x all the roms basically the roms which looks like stock android ish as you can see like this one on the redmi k20 pro these kind of ROMs, the latest Android 15 ROMs are based on the dynamic partition kind of thing. So that is a totally different kind of partition and you of course need to format data if you want to flash this ROM. Be careful about that and do back up your stuff beforehand so that you can copy your data later on from a laptop or PC and of course do everything on your own risk. And these are the two files that I have over here. I also have the firmware and stuff but yeah I won't need those I guess. I only need the HyperOS kind of file and I need the Orange Fox recovery. This is a legacy Orange Fox recovery and this is based on the ext4 kind of partition not f2fs. When I'm talking about legacy it's ext4 so I just tried to explain it to you guys but right now let me show you the files. Well if you go into the download section here you will find this ported from Xiaomi Lite any 5g so that's nice it is a ported hyperOS but there are two builds actually shows download links so these are just mirrors but th there it's mentioned NFC for Rafael users and no NFC for Rafael end users. What that means is our Redmi K20 Pro which are Indian versions does not simply have NFC. So we need to download this bottom one this says no NFC kind of versions we need to download from here. And if your device is a global one and I'm assuming that has of course the NFC and then you will select this one the top one or the first one. So yeah I have downloaded this no NFC kind of version. The file will actually say something like hotfix. It shows HOS 2 A14 K20 Pro release and it says hotfix at last for me because I'm using the Indian version. Now of course I know I need to format data. I need to copy these files again maybe. So I'll just keep my Poco A5 here and let's switch to the Redmi K20 Pro. And just in case again if you're wondering which ROM I'm using on the Redmi K20 Pro it's the Alpha Droid ROM. This is how it looks like. I have already showed you all the like review stuff of this ROM. You can check it out again from the description or the cards. As I have downloaded the ROM file and the recovery file I'll just straight up boot, reboot to the recovery. And by the way I already have the dynamic partition based recovery on the Redmi K20 Pro guys. Just entered my pin and hit right. Let's actually do one thing. Let's go to the ADM folder and first I'll have to flash this Orange Fox unofficial kind of file. This is the basic Orange Fox recovery which is the legacy ext4 kind of build and I'll just flash that first and then I think I need to format the data right away. Let's see. So from dynamic partition it will convert the storage to ext4 after I format the data with this recovery. And as you can see it shows welcome to orange fox as expected it doesn't show me the files anymore in the internal storage and that's why we need to format data first. I'll just format data and I'll reboot the recovery again. Now let's just go back to the laptop. Connecting the USB cable to the PC and right when I do that as you can see it shows Redmi K20 Pro right here. I'll just open the internal storage. And of course it shows up and it's empty and side by side this is the internal storage of the phone and on the right we have the files on my laptop and here in this particular hyperos 2 kind of folder i have the hyperos k20 pro release hotfix file this is the rom file and this is the orange fox recovery so maybe i'll just copy this particular hyperos file or you can just copy the whole folder as well it's up to you but Let's just wait for the time being once you are copying it in the internal storage of the phone. 
and the copying is successfully done so we can just remove the usb cable right now because we just need the rom file See, right now in the internal storage it shows up the rom file the hyperos 2 a14 k20 pro release hotfix kind of zip file we don't have to do anything because i just formatted the data so if you have formatted data you don't need to do anything just flash the rom and i just selected that and just swipe to install straight up no need to do any kind of wipe or anything because we just formatted data and as you can see the flashing is successfully done finally so i'll just reboot the system and wow we can see right when you power on the device this is what it will show up shows this kind of dragon kind of logo and on the bottom we have this powered by android looks sleek i would say on the k20 pro again so hopefully it will boot to hyperway soon the hyperways 2 i mean and yeah show me hyperways 2 on this six year old device it's gonna be really interesting to test out now while it's booting let me talk about one more thing that if in future you want to switch to stock android custom roms the latest ones of course yeah we get this Xiaomi hyperways logo right here the thing i was talking about is if in case in future you want to switch to the latest roms like evolution x and stuff from this rom you actually need to change your partition to dynamic partition again and if you don't know how to do all of those you can check out the android 15 rom flashing guide from the description box below for the k20 pro all right so after giving my password and everything the otp which came in my email because i have the xiaomi lock kind of enabled in the account so we get this xiaomi hyperways kind of logo right here and in the background you can see how beautifully everything is glowing up with colors so typical hyperways kind of stuff and we have the languages i cannot recognize the chinese different languages so we'll just continue with that and here can change the text size i'll just go with regular it's just too bright i guess i'll just change the iso on the camera here we have the location permission and everything show me hyper ai engine i'll just click on agree use as new device or import from me mover i'll just click on use as new so fingerprint scanner it's working fine with the on display fingerprint let's click on done we have the full screen gestures i'll just go click next as you can see right now it shows setup complete i'll just continue okay so there is no google kind of setup here like the google cloud backup and stuff it didn't ask me to no idea if i have to install google services later on no the play store as you can see it's there let's just open it let's see how it shows asks me to sign in i'll do that later so in my device section it shows xiaomi hyperos 2.0.1 and yeah this is how it looks like i'll just take a screenshot let's see how it works yes takes a screenshot perfectly fine shows scroll right here i'm not gonna do that right now there is a detailed info and specs and shows the device specs I'll just scroll down of course it is based on android 14 it's not android 15 or anything of course it has the hyperos 2 lock screen kind of clock styles and if you just tap and hold on the lock screen you will get much more different kind of lock screen clock styles and they look literally different with the depth effects with the wallpaper and even the effects on the clocks themselves so you can customize it however you would like to with the bigger clocks with the smaller clocks you can just totally customize it as your taste the hyperways to lock screen clocks with the depth effects and the clock styles you can notice it has huge amount of clock style customization in the lock screen it actually looks smooth look at this how sleek the animation actually looks like to the left side yes there are chinese texts everywhere almost but yeah overall the smoothness well it feels superb let's open the camera the animation looked great let's give all the permissions okay what are those we have the ultra wide angle lens of course works great 1x 2x 5x and even 10x option is there what in k20 bro this is insane guys and we have the more options let's see the video section video to 4k 60 yes 4k 60 it's already working okay so of course there is only 1080p option and but the sounds yes i can hear some sound of opening the front camera like miui there is enhanced mode there is pro mode of course and you can shoot pro mode videos as well with this camera let's just take a quick photo here all right so a portrait selfie looks very detailed i would say and yeah with a rear camera as well these kind of pictures has plenty of detail i would say as you can see so i'll just test out the camera later on also but let me just go back yes there was some glitches and stuff in the ui 
as this is of course a portrait drum it won't be perfect but let's open some apps like clock yes everything asks permission typical me why this is what i hate mostly but yeah let's go with it and yeah the animations here just notice how smooth it looks like and i can edit the folders to double excel enlarged and the regular sizes short apps manually all these things are there also the settings panel here what is happening i cannot pull down from here because i think because of some quick setting panel settings but yeah, if i just pull it from there it opens the quick setting panel it looks like this i can click on edit and add even more toggles i guess from here i'll just do that later on and just notice this kind of brightness panel and the volume panel looks really good and you know which ui it's been inspired from i'm not gonna talk about it much but yes if you just tap and hold on the brightness panel there is auto brightness dark mode reading mode and if you just tap on the volume we have this set timer the expanded volume panel pretty much so you get the idea and just notice the animations here everywhere looks so sleek and the background blur and stuff everything just looking so good even the wi-fi settings and stuff looks beautiful the bluetooth settings yes that also looks superb there is additional settings and this is how stuff looks like i'll just review it later on so that you get to know each and every detail of this particular ui and how it's faring with this redmi k20 pro if it's heating up or everything if these kind of things annoys you or you can change it later on you just got the idea that this is how you actually flash hyperos on your redmi k20 pro the hyperos version 2 actually and the fingerprint scanner yes it works let me just try it again and yeah with a like screen of a 40 it looks like just when i press the power button and yeah this is how it unlocks unlocks really fast i would say no problems whatsoever it's fast enough so yeah i feel the overall experience is gonna be good and better than the previous miuis but i'll explain it in the full review so do wait for that thank you so much for watching this video guys and if you love this guide of flashing hyper s2 on the redmi k20 pro you can share this video with your friends as well please subscribe to the channel for more awesome contents like this and give this video a thumbs up it helps thank you so much for watching this video guys and i'll catch you guys later on in the next video this is tito signing off from kdn tech you guys have a great day bye bye now